it's never an easy thing to do to put someone out of their misery. Glad the outsider was there to help. It may not seem like much, but your help has been invaluable to us. Thank you. Now that you've proven yourself useful, I have a sensitive situation that could use some in-person problem solving. The emergency alert in the organic sector has been triggered, something that requires proper authorization to do. As I understand it, the lab's head researcher Hilda Stoltz headed there not too long ago. I believe you're acquainted. It would appear she's gotten herself into danger. It's unlikely she'd seek outside meddling if it wasn't something serious. Get to the lab, assess the situation, and ensure Hilda returns here safely. If she's unwilling to return, convince her otherwise. She, and Mr. Stoltz for that matter, may believe her research takes priority over her safety. With our current numbers, that isn't a risk worth taking. With the tram tunnels collapsed, you should still be able to access organics from a cave nearby, used as a sort of ventilation system. If Hilda was able to make it there, I imagine you won't have too much trouble. But I'll provide a security key, just in case. Be prepared for the worst. I look forward to your return.
Oh, hello again. Didn't expect to see you here. Perfect! Well, almost perfect. I can't leave yet. Not until I've finished running the tests. I've been researching a method of reverting the Lost back to their original condition. Or at least, regain the ability to communicate with us. Uncle Hugo agrees with me too. This is top priority stuff, so, uh... Would you help me out? Please? Pretty please? Ask away! I am in danger! In danger of not finishing this research! On account of the teeny tiny lost problem this sector is experiencing! Did I not mention we're a bit overrun with lost at the moment? Because that'd be the reason I asked for help! So thanks for stopping by! It's personal. Sorry, always wanted to do that. But really, it is personal. Sorry. Maybe not normal, but something closer to normal. Less dangerous for us and them. Here's a way to put it. Maybe make them more like Uncle Hugo. You know, remember, they used to be our friends. Family. The longer they stay this way, the more likely the rest of the world will kill them all off. Sure. I think. I'm pretty sure. He's tricky to read. He definitely didn't ask me to stop looking into this. That's not a question. I'll thank you not to assume my charm means I'm lacking in skill or intelligence. I wouldn't be here without both. Now, give this asking a question thing another shot. You know questions, right? It's when you raise your voice at the end. I hope that clears things up. You will? Great! First, you should head to the greenhouse in the chemistry wing. Once you're there, look for Henry. Oh, Henry is one of the plants. He's from the Papaveraceae family. Some subfamilies, when properly processed, can be used as painkillers and muscle relaxants. I'll be tracking your progress, and I'll give you a ring over the intercom with the next steps. Good luck! You beast! You won't scare us!
like you found Henry. Good. Now we just need to mix serum alpha. Head to the pharmaceutical lab. It should be through the door on your left after leaving the greenhouse. Once you've made the serum, we'll have to test it. I'd managed to sedate a couple of the lost earlier. There should be one taking a nap in the clinical trial room. It's just past the observation room, through the door to the left of the mixer station. You'll have to dose them with the serum. Hopefully they won't be too mad when you wake them up. North is where it lies, south is where it cries, east is where it cries.
find everything? Twenty years of runoff gases from various chemicals, waste materials from the section's power source, as well as various molecules into it. Never takes some years of materials. Oh, are you seeing some signs of exposure? Your eyes do look a little funny. But tell me what you're experiencing. I'll take notes. Ooh, very astute observation. I will write that down for bait. Not entirely unexpected. Decades of chemical exposure to that portion of the cave. But hey, you're still breathing and standing too. Look at you, you're a regular lab rat in the making. Great! Hand them over and I'll make the new syrup. You know, mixing formulas was always one of my favorite things to do here. I always thought, hey, if this doesn't ran out, maybe I could be a bartender at one of those high glass joints. One time I mixed a custom cocktail for one of Uncle Hugo's parties. People loved it. Maybe it went down a little too well. Folks might have gotten uh, far more degraded than expected. Still, only a slightly smaller chance of mixed alcoholic drinks exploding than advanced chemical formulas. <laughs> okay, here's the first one. And here's the second. Don't worry, he shouldn't explode. Head over to the biology wing. There's a lot sedated in the surgery room. Should still be sedated, hopefully. I'm sure it's fine. Anyway, I'll unlock the door from the terminal.
Welcome back. Let's talk. It's complicated. To understand, I need to tell you what the actual purpose of this facility was before the Lost. Those vats contain sleeping residents from our vault. Back when we faced our first crisis of the mind. Going feral. Before the Lost. Feralization was the only real threat to our happiness here. It was running rampant and we were desperate to fix it. My papa was one of the volunteers. He showed early signs of going feral and offered to go under. Be a test subject for cures. He was also that last patient you ran the experiment on. I'm sure you've run into their like before. It's when our kind goes from just sounding gruff and radiated to snarling, teeth-gnashing monster. We don't know why it happens, who it can happen to, or if there's any way to cure it, but, well, that last part is what we're trying to figure out. Short answer? Science. Long answer? Well, I can explain that, sort of, if you're ready to hear the rest of it, that is. Okay, let me try to explain. Attention, citizens. As you probably noticed, the once sedated patients have two key problems. They aren't really sedated much anymore, and they're still lost. So, uh, I'll come clean. We're not here looking for a cure for the lost. Or at least, not here and not me. I'm here to test out new ways of sedating the patients here. Something stronger that can even put a lost under. But, before you get mad, we are looking for a cure. The royal we, just not me. Not here. Uh, sorry about that. You have to remember, these are our friends. Family. If we can keep them sedated, they aren't a threat to us or themselves anymore. And if you want to be pragmatic, we need samples. Living, healthy samples. See? It's still science. Promise. That's... classified, I think. But the way you handle yourself, I'm pretty sure it's just a matter of time before we rope you into the effort. Not... really. We had some early breakthroughs, especially using the, uh... Never mind. Just science stuff. I can tell you it mattered, though. A lot. We all had someone going through it, and I mean all of us. I don't even have a joke. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, and before you think I just wasted your time on a personal project, I did manage to secure some tissue samples, too. And we needed those. Really. An integral step in fixing the loss. I mean it. But look, I'll head back to the vault soon after I finish up here. You can assure Oberlin that you've completed your rescue mission. Have a fun hike back. Bye now. You should head back now. Tell Oberlin not to worry about me. You're back. Were you able to secure Hilda safely? That's good to hear. She's an invaluable asset to the vault. What exactly was happening over there? Reckless. Perhaps a necessary step in seeking a cure, but to do so alone, with the region and the state it is, well... 
It's good you were able to arrive there before she'd gotten herself killed. Barely fresh air. You're more capable than I had assumed. We'll make sure you're suitably rewarded for your effort. Take a moment to dust yourself off, but report back to me soon. I have another job for you. This one's a bit more... delicate than the others. You're dismissed. It's a shame we don't have the workforce to spruce this place up a little. Don't you go starting any trouble around here. Keep it civil. Don't you be starting to change things up around here. We got a system and it works, damn it! Something. You reckon that storm is gonna get worse? <laughs>